of $1,000 to anyone. Why are you actually risking your life? And legitimately risking your life. Are well, you stupid? It's a calculated risk. It's not for everybody. Shouldn't be for everybody. Probably shouldn't be for me sometimes. But it is. And uh, until I hurt myself or it's no longer fun, that's the path I'm going. We did a run through. Took a little bit of a hit on the way down. Well, it's Friday the 13th. You kind of have to expect it. Hopefully it'll go a little better tonight. Robert Gallup has devised a brand new death-defying escape especially for this program. And after a final rehearsal, he'll perform it for the very first time. But this time, it's not Houdini who's his inspiration. Now I know what you're thinking. American magician in front of a glass box on the River Thames. <laughs> a loser. No, 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 I assure you. What I'm about to do won't take 44 days. It'll take just about four minutes. Now we're going to show you what's going to happen when that box actually reaches its apex, 30 meters above the ground. That rope will become taut, and then, of course, triggering that trap. Let's give it a go, Mark. Show us what happens. Here we go. Now, the crane is actually going to lift me almost 30 meters above the ground. When it reaches its apex, this trigger line will be pulled tight. At that point, if I'm not out and secured, I will fall when the trap door opens. All right, we're going to start with the Posey straitjacket. I'm going to be put into a straitjacket. Not one, but two straitjackets. Then I will be placed inside of this glass box, locked inside of this glass box. Guideline, stand by. On the bottom of the glass box, there's a hair trigger. A hair trigger tied to a rope, which will be anchored to an anchor block. Nice and straight. Looking good. Light torches. Light torches. Don't you say me. Torches are lit! Hi, go fire! Go fire! Like the spikes! At least there's a little warmer up here. There's gonna be almost 100 flaming spikes directly beneath me. Remember, if I don't get out of both straitjackets in time and clip into safety, I will fall directly down onto these flaming spikes from 30 meters above. Stand by, escape! Standing by, for escape! Crane up for standing by! On your cue, Robert! Steady, steady the line! Ah. Steady on both sides, please! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. 40 seconds! Yeah. Uh. 40 seconds! Uh. All right, up, Robert! Okay, yeah, baby. Damn it! One Damn minute! Sucks. One minute! You need to hurry! All right, one more! I can do this. One minute, 50 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> I guess there's two ways to be a dangerous magician. Create the illusion that it is actually very dangerous. Or be one whacked out guy and just go for it. <laughs>